Hello, everybody. Thank you all for being here today. I am the guy who likes to do the crazy things. The desire to create cool, eye-catching, and unique creations. The key to getting a great image is trying to get it right straight away in camera. Because I can come here right now, and I can take a picture without knowing what power these things are on, and hope that something cool is going to happen. Right? And then I can just take a shot. Sorry, I didn't even warn you. It's OK. I can take a shot, and then I can look at the screen right now, and I can see what works and what doesn't work. And I think that's really the easiest, the easiest way to do photography, is just not to think about it too much. I have two backlights. Why did I put them there? They're glowing into the front, and that looks good, because all the attention is focused on a single character. Look to the, look to the light a little bit more. Face the light. Good. Now, bend your back inwards a little bit. I like the way you were turning your head. Curve your body a little bit more, curve it all the way a little bit more. And I like the idea of emerging, I like the hands up. And these are battery powered units, which are really, really fun. So we need these back. She can do her own awesome thing. You guys can slowly take pictures. I can look at my photos. How would this image look if there was fabric floating around? I think that's the general principle of photography. Don't overthink it. So a grid like this, will help you focus your light more in the right direction. You can see as I rotate it, and that's one of the beauties about a light like this, the fact that you can actually take such a large light source and control it to such a point, I think is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Okay, so in three, two, one, go. Good. Back to shooting, let's talk. And let's give this a shot again. So in three, two, one, go. Alright, let's try that. One, go. Three, two, one, go. Perfect. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right. One more time. Three, two, one, go. That curve that does this over here, that leads into the model, is the type of thing that I'm looking for in a shot. Why flashes? Because you can control your image. And that's really the most important thing about a photographer. You want to be able to create the best image possible. We have a controlled environment, right? In a setting where you control everything. But your gear can also help construct your shot. Gear is part of the equation to being creative. Moving it in and out, you can see how the light source goes from harder to softer because it becomes bigger or smaller. But when it's fully focused like this, it gives you as much power no, it gives you more power. It gives you a stop and a half more power than bare bulb pointing at you. So what you know and what you can create is limited by what you have and how creative you can get to solve the problems. And I think the best way to judge whether or not your photograph is going to work is what do the shadows look like? But with a flash, you have a lot more options. I can say high, low. I can dial it down, up, down. I can do whatever I want. We could probably pull off a pretty decent shot. If I drop my shutter speed, I zoom in, I have that kissing her face. Could you move your head a little bit more to the side? More, 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 more. Perfect. I'm trying to make sure that I have separation, but I also have detail. Good expression. She's got beautiful makeup. She's got a great costume. But the way the light is placed right now makes it look very flat. There's no interesting shadows coming in. All you need to do is move it around. I'm going to try putting this here. A lot more drama, right? Take a shot. Hold that. So I'm playing right now, right? So I've basically dropped the power of the ambient. I've reduced the power on this, and I can keep moving the power up because I have so many stops of power on one of these packs, which is what's really, really cool about it. Take a half step back, just a little bit more, right? So you can slowly build a more complicated setup, and I'm making use of the sun, the fake sun, as a three-point lighting setup. Thin black fabric will act as a perfect diffuser for shiny plastic flowers. So we have a bunch of triggers, by the way, for the new guys who are coming. If you guys actually want to take shots of your own, these flashes can recycle fast enough to keep up with you, so it's pretty good. Special technology right now. Three, two, one, go. Good. Four. When people 
work in studio, I think we, all, we always forget that there's still three directions you can shoot, right? The fabric is closer, the light's further away, it falls around, wraps around beautifully, and it looks really, really great. Thank you guys very much.